oil. A lot of states at the coastal area have oil. And you may talk about it in terms of layering Lagos on the, on the southeast and south, and you talk about the Kurudu with a specialization, Apapa with something, uh, Marina with something. So if we map the southeast and south south, we will find the ACTs Gerard mentioned, each of them has a natural, what do you call it, natural, the natural DNA. So, would it be possible to look at that, at it in terms of when you have these DNAs, to create a system that allows investors to see the DNA? Because a lot of times, you have to sell your DNA to an investor, for an investor to come in. What happens in Lagos today is that Lagos has been able to sell itself to the world. So, in one trip I went that the governor of Lagos State was, the governor was boasting about the, the fact that they ran the sixth, the sixth largest economy in Africa and says, come here and do business because my economy is large. So, if we were to create the same thing around this DNA, how do you think that we can sell this to investors to come in here? Why this is important is because a startup that is starting here today, at the end of the day, has to service industries that exist in this zone. So if we do not define those industries, it's difficult for a startup to start here and build its business around this zone. Well, I mean, for me, it starts off with strategic intent, yeah? And it's a function of both those in the private sector, those in leadership and in government. If you think about the fact that, okay, we're all from the South, we're not all people, but we're all from this zone. And if you think about the fact that you hear politically all the time about marginalization, you hear about this zone not getting its due, but then you ask yourself, what has the zone done to present itself, to promote itself, to push an opportunity? The narrative does not change unless you decide to change the narrative. So I decide, I think it's comfortable, some people are very comfortable to sit in a place and assume permanence, what I call, it's, maybe it's harsh, but it's literally sit stuck in the same position for 20 years and say, I'm being cheated. Now, what do you do about that? Do you decide, okay, I'm being cheated, I will stay cheated? Or do you decide that, wait a second, Medinaba gives a little, little, little insight into what is possible. That's Abba. It took how many years for us to even communicate that little thing? When, where is Enugu's communication? Where is Oweres' communication? Where is Onicha's communication? I'm Igbo. I have never seen Newi except when I went there. No Nigerian has seen it. You cannot invest in what you have not seen. Do you understand? Plus, we have a perception in the zone that we are close to outsiders. That if you're not Igbo or not from here, you can't invest here or you can't do business here. And we have to accept that that is a real perception and we have to counterbalance it. Because we have to, we actually, the truth of the matter is that things don't change if you keep doing the same thing. So for me, it's about being present, being here, promoting from here, and then connecting everybody. Because when you do those things, I think that the Southeast has incredible stories to tell, has incredible location, has incredible talent, has a youth bulge, the demographics, has everything it needs, except perhaps the will to act. The will to act would have built the Enugonisha Highway without waiting for anybody. The will to act would mean that Enugu where would not be an issue. Do you understand? These are things that we are hurting ourselves, and I think that's a function also. You can't just blame it on government, because there are citizens here as well. So what pressure are the citizens putting on government, right? Now, if you look at big business, we all know that the only way we can attract major businesses to this part of the country is destination marketing. You have to market it. And the marketing is not just in the air. The state government has to give concessions. There have to be waivers. There have to be tax considerations. So for me, it's an entire process. And it requires serious work. But it's not the work of, it's not the hype. I mean, Boston said it earlier. There's a lot of hype in Nigeria. It needs, I mean, actually, as you said, if we could map the zone, and anybody from anywhere in the world could hit a platform and see the opportunities in the zone, You've already done more for the zone than has ever been done, in my opinion. Because if we say right now, what are the opportunities in the zone, we're all going to be guessing. Because we don't have, we have our independent research, but we don't have a master document 
that everybody accepts. 